Congresswoman Liz Cheney. She just met with John Bolton this week, and she joins us now with an inside look. Good morning to you, Congresswoman. Thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me, Ainsley. Great You're to welcome. be with you. What did John Bolton tell you about how the uh, United States will continue to respond to Iran? Well, we had a really good meeting with uh, the National Security Advisor on Capitol Hill. Uh, the president has done exactly the right thing. Uh, we talked about the fact that it was very important to pull out of the Iranian nuclear agreement. It was an agreement that was really giving people false comfort while it provided the Iranians a pathway to a nuclear weapon. And we're in a situation now where companies across Europe are going to have to choose, in many instances, whether they want to do business with the United States or with Iran. But we've got to absolutely make sure that we're committed, particularly as we watch Iran continue its activities across the Middle East, continue to threaten Israel, continue ballistic missile development, uh, where the Iranians have got to understand that those are the kinds of behaviors that won't be accepted by, uh, by the United States. And uh, I've been very pleased to see President Trump and the National Security Advisor John Bolton take a lead uh, on ensuring that we do um, uh, everything we can to prevent the Iranians from obtaining uh, nuclear weapons. How different is what they're doing from the past administration? Oh, it's hugely different, Ainsley. If you look at the fact that Barack Obama paid $1.5 billion, U.S. taxpayer money, paid the Iranians to get them to enter into the nuclear agreement. And then you had Secretary of State John Kerry traveling the world, basically acting as though he were the head of the Iranian Chamber of Commerce, encouraging uh, countries around the globe to invest in Iran. Uh, the economy in Iran is run by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. They have their hands in every single aspect uh, of business in Iran. And so providing resources to the Iranians through investment, in fact, is helping to facilitate uh, their malign activities around the world and their nuclear program. Yeah. So we have make, made the, the right turn here, and I'm, I'm optimistic that we will continue to be very tough with the Iranians. Reimposing sanctions and withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal. We uh, exactly. had, had someone special in the news yesterday, and I think you know Mr. Hank very well. Your chief of staff. <laughs> Her boxer, Hank, won the 2018 <laughs> cutest dog on the hill. And we were talking we about it in the news. Yeah, so we wanted to have you on, obviously, to talk about the news of the day, but also introduce yeah, us to Hank. And I understand and Kara Ahern is with you. There's Kara. She's your chief she of staff is. with her dog. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It was a big win. Hard, hard fought b battle, but he pulled it through. Tell us about this competition. I didn't even know what happens on the Hill. How many people, how many staffers actually bring their dogs to work every day? You know, it's quite a few, and a lot of members bring their dogs each day as well. <laughs> and it was through IJR, and they do it each year. And like I said, it was stiff competition. We were a little worried about Sadie in Congressman Handel's office, but <laughs> he, he pulled it out. He pulled it out. <laughs> Do you think it makes a little, all the work that goes on on the Hill and how stressful those jobs are, does it make it a little easier? You know, it gives a little bit of levity to the office, and it was, it was fun for my coworkers, everyone from Max and Charlotte and Will and Maddie, everybody really pulled it out, emailing friends and family, so. How many, how many dogs participated? You know, I don't know the total number to start with. Thousands must yeah, have, must have been. been. I mean, obviously, <laughs> Hank. See, Hank, he's very excited yes. by his win. He's tired from all the excitement in the last few days. But it came down to six finalists, and Hank um, was top dog. That's great. So what's, what do you love about Hank? What's his personality like? Um, well, he's not very hyper, which I appreciate, but, you know, he just brings a smile to everybody's face, and once you meet him, you just fall in love, and he loves everybody, so he's just um, pretty good, and he loves the Capitol Police, especially Charles Williams. That keeps us safe every day in Cannon. That's his favorite stop of the day around 2 o'clock. So. <laughs> That's great. Congresswoman, we always talk, talk to you about these tough subjects and to see you smile and to see you there with the dog. What does Hank mean to you? Well, Hank is really special. Hank is a, a native of Rock Springs, Wyoming, and Kara got him uh, at an auction, actually, a group called Cowboys Against Cancer in Rock Springs that oh, yeah. um, provides resources for people who need to go get cancer treatment uh, outside of the state. And so Hank uh, was part of that auction about six years ago, yeah. I think, and uh, he's really special. He, he greets everybody who comes into our office, and, and like Kara said, he just brings a smile to everybody's face. When you go to those charity events and they have the auctions and they always bring out the dogs, it's hard not to raise your hand or your know, paddle, isn't yeah. it? Well, that's great. Kara, I'm so glad you're giving Hank a beautiful, <laughs> wonderful home. Thank you, ladies, well, for being you. with us.